Right, so today I thought I'd do a different game and um, due to Halo 4 being out soon I thought I would do a video of the Warthog from, well, the Halo series. Although this I'm showing you here is in Forza 4. So, first things first, let's do some of these information things where there's basically a commentator speaking about the vehicle, so I'll just let you listen to this. The M12 FAV is equipped with 20-inch magnesium alloy wheels and powerful 14-inch carbon ceramic disc brakes. Yeah, that one majorly interesting. They do get a bit more interesting than that. All military warthogs are coated with a programmable nanoprismatic paint to refract color at any chromacity depending on the vehicle's destination. A security bit was designed to prevent Marines from tinkering with the finish based on early and embarrassing experiences of the tech's deployment. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, you which might not know this from the Halo games, it has compartments on the backs, on the sides, there is different versions of this vehicle. Uh, which you'll soon find out. Uh, you can, I can also change the colour of this version. But, I'm sticking to the basic green. So, on, can I climb on the back? I can climb on the back. Yeah, let me ride around the track and shoot people. This M12 is equipped with an M41 turret mounted chain gun with a 360 degree rotatable platform and compatible ammo feed, supplying up to 912.7 by 99 millimeter AP rounds per minute. And that's it for on the gun, so let's get back off the weapon. Which takes forever. There we go. What else is there? As with most UNSC vehicles, the Warthog is equipped with a Graf Hauptmann solar saline actuator. This enables Marines to crack hydrogen fuel from any water source, reducing the need to transport bulky and dangerous fuel supplies. That's a pretty cool feature. The rear section of the Warthog can be configured to any number of purposes, including troop transport and weapons platforms. The versatile hog sees daily use as everything from a mobile machine gun to an ambulance. Cool. What else? That's just to open that again. The hog's massive tires feature a reactive tread pattern that provides astonishing traction on nearly any surface. Burst-proof nanotube construction gives these tires similar buoyancy to their gas pocket counterparts with one key benefit. They're practically indestructible. It's a pretty useful feature, indestructible. So I don't think it's actually going to talk to me, it just shows us the lights. Okay. The M12 Force Application Vehicle, better known as the Warthog, is a highly mobile and adaptable platform serving the UNSC. Famed for its toughness and sturdy design, stories about hogs surviving numerous tours of active combat duty abound. But none is more well known than the tale of the Daedalus. Near the beginning of the Covenant War, the UNSC frigate Daedalus went down in atmosphere over the planet Galgaliel, smashing into the irradiated world's high gravity surface. The ship's molten wreckage was scattered for hundreds of miles, an unsurvivable event. And yet, four warthogs had, in fact, survived the impact. Marines from the motor pool had buckled themselves into the hog's seats as the frigate plummeted to the surface. Strapped to the ship's deck, incredibly, the vehicles remained intact. Due to the security restrictions of the Cole Protocol, the Marines would wait months for aid. 
To survive, they used the hogs to desalinate water and search for food. And they even programmed their radios to broadcast the distress signal that eventually led to their rescue. Pretty useful vehicle then. Base price, 343,000 credits. You can't actually buy it in this game, you can only uh, you view it here. Let's have a look at the engine. It's a pretty shiny engine, really. That was pretty cool. The M12 uses a dependable, low-profile, 12-liter hydrogen-injected ICE power plant. In standard 1G environments, the hog has a maximum range of 490 miles before it needs to refuel. It can achieve a top speed of 78 miles per hour, no matter the terrain. Cool. So, almost done with this video. Let's put that back on. and show you the interior. Interior features vary depending on how the vehicle is purposed by AMG's factories, but standard controls include manual shifters and a steering-linked e-brake. A driver skilled in the use of this cutting brake can turn the hog on a dime. The four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering M12 FAV features a manual shifted transmission and a steering-linked emergency brake. So, I think that's it. I'm just going to jump in the other side of the vehicle and see if there's anything extra in there. Usually, I think on maybe one of the two of the vehicles in this game, there is some extra in the other side, but I can't really see anything being extra. Yeah, it's just those two again, look. So, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Forza 4, I just thought I'd show you the Warthog, if you haven't seen it already, uh, thanks for watching.